In this video, I'm gonna build a full company training AI agent inside of N10 that starts with Telegram, where the employee would ask any questions about the company, which will send it to our pre-trained AI, which will use that question and it will retrieve the answer based on a document that we train the AI with. Then we send it to the next AI to be able to clean up the message before sending it to our Telegram bot. And the difference with this workflow is that we're not using a complex rack system with Superbase or even a custom GPT. We're using a very, very simple way in OpenAI that allows us to set everything up within seconds. And in case it's your first time here, my name is Michele. And just over the past 12 months, I've helped over 40 businesses implement AI and automations and taught over 20,000 people in the process, all starting with zero tech knowledge. With that being said, let's dive in. All right, so all I have to do here is ask any questions about the company. So I can say, what is the onboarding process that we go through with every single client? Then we send it through. And what this will now do is it will send it directly towards the platform, the OpenAI, which is trained with our document, which is the marketing agency company knowledge base, which is this document right here, which has a ton of information about our company, client delivery, client onboarding, and so on. And then it will send it to the next AI to clean up the message to be able to then send it back to Telegram. And as you can see here, we have the summary. So our client onboarding process ensures a smooth transitions from sales to delivery with clear steps to set up and launch campaigns quickly. Step one, sales onboarding. Step two, kickoff call. Step three, client access setup. Step four, internal strategy. Step five, launch phase. And if I go to the actual document, I can look for onboarding. There we go. We have sales, kickoff call, client access setup, initial strategy, and launch phase. And this right here is one of my personal favorite systems to build for companies because it is very, very easy to set up and the value that you provide is very, very high for the business itself. So as always, before we build, let's map things out. We have an input, which is the question from employee or question from user. And then we want to talk AI trained on document, on company document, make this smaller. Uh, there we go. Make this a little bigger. There we go. And then now we should have gotten the actual answer from the document. And all we want to do here is we want to clean up. So actually turn the response into a formatted message, which will then send response to Telegram. Okay, so it's very, very straightforward. Really, the, the, the value of the system is the one right here, talking to an AI trained on company document, just because it's a bit different than most of the videos that you've watched out there about RAG or retrieving information from documents or doing whatever. So question from the user. The user says, hey, what's the onboarding um, process? Then we send it to AI, which is trained on the document of our company information. And we ask it, hey, what's the onboarding process? And then it will extract the onboarding process from there. Then it will give it to here because this is going to be a big, long message. It will give it to the next AI to format the message to then be able to send it back to Telegram. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to a new workflow. We can start from scratch. And again, we always map things out just so I can visualize it before I build it. So the first step of the system is called a trigger. So the trigger is a thing that starts the automation. I can go to Telegram and I can go to on message. And all we have to do here is connect our Telegram account just press N10 AI and it will walk you through exactly how to do it. It will take like a minute or two, um, but once you have it connected, you will see your account and you will do trigger on message. And so now we can test this by going inside, right? And pressing execute step. You wanna bring up Telegram right here and you wanna say, hello. Actually, just ask a question. What's the onboarding process? And press go. And now you can see that this triggered and it gives us all the different pieces of information here, message ID, from ID, is bot, first name, language, chat ID, first name, type, date, and even the text. But the ones that we really have to care about is going to be chat ID, because the chat ID is basically the number of that conversation. So let's say I'm having a conversation with John, that conversation has a number. Because when I'm speaking to Mary, the conversation number will change, the conversation will change in general. Um, so the AI wants to know exactly where to send back the message. And then we have the text, which is the actual message, which is the most important thing. Now that we have this, I'm going to press spin so I don't have to rerun this again. I can press save. And so this part right here is done. And the next part is going to be talking to an AI trained on a company document. Now, for us to do that, we have to make the document and we have to train the AI. Train the AI just means that we give the document to the AI. So the first thing we're going to do is make the document, which looks something like this, which is the knowledge base, right? Knowledge base is just the, the base of every information about the company. So company overview, core values, company structure, leadership, departments, basically anything that you want to give your employee when it asks any questions, right? Core hours, all the things you want to know, HR policies and so on. Typically a company would have 
different pieces of information, not necessarily in one document. So what you can do is you can go to ChatGPT and you can simply ask it, uh, or you can give it pieces of information about the company and you can then say, can you create a full company knowledge base based on the info given? And it will give you a full document based on the information that you gave. Now, of course, this right here is test data. So as you can see here, the company name is Test Marketing Agency LTD because it is a test company that we're just working with. And so once you have the document in a PDF format, we want to go to platform.openai.com, make an account, then go to dashboard, then go down to storage. But here, all you have to do is go to vector store, and then you want to press create. So now you're creating a vector store and you can name it whatever you want. So you can name it company base, leave this everything as is, go down to files attached and add a file. When you add a file, just pull the file that we have. So in this case, I'm gonna download this. It's gonna pull the document over all the way here, upload. And now what this will do is it will vectorize the document. Now, if it's the first time that you hear vectorize, what this means in a very simple way is that we have a document, right? And for the document to be uploaded into the vector store, it needs to be transformed into an embedding. An embedding is basically like numbers, 0010000. And then from there, it will be added to the vector store so that it's very easy to find information from the document. That's exactly how chatbots work, right? They take the data, like all in text, they turn that data into numbers. And when you ask a question, that question right there will be also turned into numbers and it will match those numbers with the vector store numbers and give you the answer. So it's just a matching sort of way of doing things. And so back here, this is now vectorized. So I can attach this and that's about it. That's all we have to do. It's really just creating a vector store and adding a document here. If I press refresh, this should not take a second to be able to show the file that's uploaded. As you can see here, we have marketing agency knowledge base. And on the N10 side, if I go here, all I have to do is press plus. I can go to open AI. I can then look for message a model, same thing here. And we're using the typical model, uh, like always. The first step we have to do is go here, create a new credential, and then we need an API key, which you can find right here. You can go to API keys. You can create a new secret key, name it whatever you want. So let me call it test, copy this. And now you can bring it back to N10 right here. Just bear in mind that this right here is not free. So to add credits, you have to go to your profile, go to billing. You can add $5. It will last you for, for a while, depending on your usage, uh, but it is very, very cheap. I think I've had $5 for the past six months and it's a three now, so it's cool. So let's go back to the dashboard and the storage vector store right here. And we can name this company base. And now what we wanna do is in any 10, we wanna put text, messaging, a model, that's fine. Uh, the model that you want to use is 4.1 mini and we can't use gpt4 because it's not allowed with the actual vector stores and gpt5 will take too long so we want something within quality but also uh, speed the text itself will give it the actual text right here and i'm also going to give it some some prompts so don't worry and for us to actually be able to use the vector store we have to go to built-in tools add a built-in tool do file search and now it's asking us for the vector store ids and so all i have to do here is go here i can copy this bring it back and then double quotes and paste this here. Now it says IDs because you can actually put comma, another vector store ID. So I could give it more vector stores to pull information from, which makes it extremely powerful. But now right here, I can start filling out the prompt. So let me delete this for a second. I can change this to a system because we're gonna give the AI one system and one user prompt. System is gonna be this, paste it here, saying that you are an AI assistant whose only job is to retrieve the most relevant information from the company knowledge base. Do not invent anything. You only pull information that already exists in the documents provided to you. If the information is not found in the text, simply say information not found in the provided documents, which is great. And then user prompt is going to be the question, right? And so all we do here is let me go full screen. And I say this, the user question is this based on the text above, retrieve the most relevant information and answer the question. Do not add anything that does not exist in the documents. So the reason why you see me say, do not invent anything is because sometimes AI can hallucinate. Hallucination just means that it can make shit up. And so if it makes things up, then it will give you the wrong information, which is very, very dangerous, especially when you're dealing with these kind of systems. So now I can uh, run this. So I can go here, I can press execute step because this will use the question here and it will say that is not found. Let's see, vector store, not found organization, org, project. Okay, cool. So I think it's because I'm using the wrong account. So if you actually connected your account, you should not have this problem. So now if I execute step, it doesn't work still. Okay, let's say I try this connection. 
Okay, now it works. Cool. It's only because we have two different projects. And so the API keys change per project. And so what I did is I used the API key from here. You don't need to text things from here. So you wanna make sure that you give the right API key for the right project. And now it give us the answer. And the answer right here is gonna be uh, the text. The onboarding process for clients in the marketing agency is designed to smoothly transition from the client sales to the delivery within 24 hours. Cool. We want to pin this. So use this data to then send to the next AI, which will be able to clean up the response and then be able to uh, give us the answer. Now, one thing I usually add between AI to AI is a wait. Why do I add a wait, which is just one second? Because AI sometimes, when you give it back-to-back -back, uh, sort of queries or user questions, it can time out. And so to mitigate that, to not have that happen, we wanna add something like this, which waits, calms it down, and then goes again. And the next step is actually using the exact same thing as this. So messaging a model, where is it? Open AI, message a model, same exact settings. You can still do 4.1. Mini, which as of right now in the time of this recording is the best model to use for these kind of tasks. And then for the actual prompt itself, I'm gonna give it a system prompt and a user prompt. So system prompt here, let me go full screen and I can paste this, which is a prompt that I had before, which is your internal company assistant that rewrites long AI answers into short, clear Telegram messages for employees. Your only job is to receive a long detailed answer about the company and turn it into a concise step-by-step -step message that is easy to read on Telegram. And we give it a bunch of rules to use. Like do not add any extra information that is not in the original answer. Do not mention that this was generated by AI or summarized and just a bunch more things that we wanted to have. And then for the user message, we can give it this right here. So we can go full screen and paste this here. Please turn the following long answer into a Telegram friendly message for employees. Follow these rules. Start with summary, then add steps. Then if needed, add action items. Keep it under 200 to 250 words because of course it's a Telegram message. And then, we want to be able to give it the text. Long answer, which is this. I love how um, N10 shows you the preview before you do it. And as you can see, this is the long answer that we simply can add uh, to a Telegram message because it is a bit long, which is why we want to make it more concise. And now I can execute the step and it should be able to give us the answer. Summary, client onboarding, marketing agency. Let me make sure this is, yeah, okay, cool. It's a good length compared to something like this, where it's really, really long and there's more to it as well, which is great. Now, let me rename this to get company info, clean up message. And then finally, we have Telegram, send a text message, and we make the same account message, send message, and a chat ID is something that we get from all the way down here, which is the number of that conversation, chat ID. And by the way, if you can't find it here, just go here and input chat ID, and you can find it. And then the text will be, the cleanup message here, which is the text. So now if I press execute step, this should now give me the actual text, which I can find and pull it back up right here. Summary, steps, and action items. Now, one thing it also gives us is the, what we called N10 attribution, which is this message is sent automatically with N10. To delete this, you can go here, append N10 attribution and turn this off. So that when we send the message again, I go back to Telegram, I can see that there's no there's nothing like this here. And if you're wondering how many tokens or how much this costs to run, you can go up here to OpenAI, you can go to usage, and then right here, you should be able to see divided by what you're using. In this case, it will be file searches, how many tokens we're using. So how many requests? Five, and the number of tokens, which is about 30,000, and this is about 0 0.06. But of course, I did six requests, so six messages. And so each one is gonna be about 0 0.01 which is very, very cheap. All right, and as always, you can find the full template in the free school community in the second link down below. You can go up here to classroom, you can go to templates vault, and you can go to the employee training agent. You can press this button and you can download it. The only disclaimer here is that not everybody gets in, so please put some thoughts into your answers and I'll see you on the inside. And if you're a nine to five working professional who's making at least 5K a month, and you wanna start your AI agency to get to 10 and even 40K a month in the next 90 to 180 days, then you might wanna check out the first thing down below, which is a one-to-one -one mentorship program where you get to work with me one-to-one -to, -one to help you start your AI agency from zero. The only catch is that we only have 20 spots until the end of the year for the program, so make sure to check it out while the spots are still open. And if you like this video, then you're going to love this video up here, where I show you how I built a full sales coach GPT, which is trained on the best sales frameworks in the world and gives me feedback to every single sales calls that I have. With that being said, I hope you found value from this video and I'll see you in the next one.